Berlin, Germany. After a brief introduction, I would like to discuss a few aspects of the STEP technology with you, and then demonstrate using two examples. First, an aqueous titanium dioxide-based dispersion, and second, another case where a new product is compared versus benchmarks from the market. So one easily may imagine that the determination of particle size distributions of individual ingredients allows for the early detection of deviations in the raw material prior to the subsequent use of this ingredient in the later formulation. Related to product stability, see the other webinar of June, please. Again, we are also able to get from the transmission profiles the particle size distribution curves. First of all, I would like to discuss it briefly with you on the example of an aqueous titanium dioxide dispersion. We see in this slide here, to the left, the transmission profiles, telling us the amount of light passing through our dispersion. In the beginning, we have a curve which has a value almost at all positions of about 50% transmission. And if you would like to understand this concept, this calculation method more in detail, I would like to put your attention to the literature references. In the background of the software, what is happening? Again, Stokes' law is used. Now it is displayed that we have here the particle size. You see here the material data we need to select by another software click from the materials database, which is in the software included. And one can also add a fit function. This is the real data as obtained after the measurement. There is no fitting in here. There we have a comparison of a new product versus benchmarks based on particle size distribution. Here we have two benchmarks, products from the market, were selected to compare with one new formulation, and the formulation itself was not a formulation, it was a powder, titanium dioxide powder. We can see the deviation in the D50 value, we can see it even better in the D84 and in the D90 value. So what can we conclude from that uh, for this application example? We can conclude that the sonication process reduces the particle sizes of all of the products. This is to be seen that the, also that the bimodality of the benchmarks disappeared due to the deagglomeration. The median value of the new product is still significantly higher as is the D84 and the D90 value. On the webinar, I can tell you that particle and droplet sizing over the whole sample by step technology is displaying very much the advantages of this technology. We obtain true raw data from a direct physical measurement. And very important also, from nanometer up to micrometer, we apply exactly the same principle. In the nanometer and the lower micrometer range, it is the Lumisizer. In the upper micrometer range, it is the Lumi Reader. Both have the identical step technology applied. We can determine multimodality. We can characterize particle size and droplet size distributions of multimodal systems with a very high resolution. This is based uh, on the fact that we are using a separating technique in here. We also have absolutely no restrictions regarding liquid continuous phases because we uh, put every sample in its own closed cell. So if you would like to compare titanium dioxide and water with titanium dioxide dispersed in oil, it is the same measurement, the same run in the same instrument.